Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at creating this. So, what is this? Well, I ran into a bit of a situation and I needed a mount for a Bluetooth speaker that I wanted to clip on my monitor. So, I decided, hey, just a simple project. I'll shoot over to Tinkercad and whip one up. So, that's exactly what I did. So, um, i tell you what. Let's go take a quick time-lapse look of... Uh, me designing this on Tinkercad because I think you, you know maybe you can pick up some speed designing tips from that and then let's do time lapse of it printing and then we'll come back and uh, see how it fits on the monitor and uh, with the Bluetooth speaker so let's cut over to Tinkercad Okay, welcome back. So um, here's the Bluetooth speaker that, that I have. So uh, uh, now this is going to be plugged in all the time to a USB charger. So it's going to sit on top of the monitor. And then here's our bracket that we've printed out. And uh, it sits right on top of the, the bracket as such. I could have made it a little bit narrower, but I kind of like the... Um, the looks with it kind of winged out here and also if I decide I don't want to use this I want to use it for something else I can uh, actually have some pretty good surface area now one of the things I did want to talk about uh, one of the pro tips that I left uh, you know as a caption in designing this was to leave a little extra room here because you know one of the things especially if you're designing for relatively tight tolerances it's kind of difficult to get it perfect with, with uh, you know 3d printing you know there's expansion there's contraction and, and all that so what I do is I leave a little extra room and then what I do is I use either felt or foam pads. I think you can kind of see these uh, here. So these are these are cushy, so they compress. So this is a little bit big. However, once I put these pads on, it, it actually compresses it down and makes it a nice tight fit as it goes uh, on the monitor. Um, so th this is a good little 
uh, trick to use. These are these are cheap. You can get these at Lowe's or Home Depot or any big box store for that matter. And um, they come in different sizes. And, and again, this one goes on the back. So the front of the monitor presses against here. This goes against the back and this keeps it square. Speaker sits on top and it all works very, very well. And again, if you want to design something that was a little bit more, um, you know, hidden, uh, again, you could just make this a little bit smaller, but I kind of wanted it to be a little bit bigger. Also, I like the looks of the rounded corners uh, rather than, you know, I could just use square boxes on all this, but it, it comes out much more professionally uh, looking when you you put radiuses. Now, if I really wanted to get fancy, I would have maintained the radius on these two, but you know, the back one, you're not gonna see it. And the front one, you know, is gonna be very subtle with the monitor. So again, for time, I wasn't really concerned about maintaining the radius. Um, like you have here, you have this nice, smooth, integrated radius that comes around here. And you notice that these are, because I took and I reused this shape to create these. It was just a time-saving uh, trick, and also I kind of like the look of, of this, how it came off here. I don't like this one so much uh, because of the steep, how it comes, you know, uh, into the, the, the flat. But again, this goes on the back, you don't see it, and I, I was, wasn't overly worried about it, and it doesn't look too horrible. So, anyways, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this build, and if you did, hey, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel, a lot more of this coming. If you have questions, hit me up down below. Anything specific you'd like to see, hey, let me know. Cheers, see you in the next video. Like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.